Oh, no, man. Up. He's there. Here, there he is. There he is. Yo. Yo. The legend. What's the legend? up, brethren? Why are you saying, brother? <laughs> it's an honor. It's an honor. It's an honor. Mm -hmm. For real. I, I was just... I, I, when you, I was actually on my iPad, and I don't know if it got a camera on it, but it, it wouldn't, it wouldn't go to the thing. It kept going black. Yeah. So I was trying to tap in. With, with, with your brother. Know, they must know because I, I seen you have a post about regarding about the West Coast being left out in certain things, and right. hip hop is really forty years old. And you know what? I done my research, and you're on point. Um, I was a a. I, I threw a rock, a dirt rock. That was supposed to break and hit a whole bunch of people. It, it was it was said awkward to not complete itself to what I was saying. Because what I was saying it's almost like telling everybody where the exit is. Mm -hmm. And then everybody gonna complain. So my main concern was if we're talking about hip hop, then why glorify everything hip hop is not? Yes, you're so, right. 100%. So we don't have to talk about who made it. We talking about what we what we want it to be. Yeah. And now you it was more or less looking like a talent show. If we was to sell hip hop to country, how would it look right now? Look back. We we have all the right to say what hip hop is. We named it hip hop. <clears throat> Everybody else named it down south. Yes. They named it a kind. Whenever you put a kind to it, it's not the substance of what it is. It's, it's a derivative of it. When they made up gangster, it was only to separate conscious because it was all conscious yes. with gangster rap anyway. Yes. Gangster rap was conscious yeah. rap. You know what I'm saying? Street rap is uh, conscious rap. So when they made that category, at some point they made it to where they can stop dealing with the conscious rhyme and, and, and ruin the culture of hip hop. Mm -hmm. So now they took the headband hip hop. Sorry, to interrupt, you. Sorry to interrupt you. Sorry to interrupt you, but yeah, I just wanted to because the West Coast there, right? And mm -hmm. you were saying that, right? Irreverence to thug life as well right. for hip hop. Well, I'm saying that's a, a, a topic that somebody else made up of into the sport. Mm -hmm. How can you take rules from somebody that is not of? Hip hop is what it is. How can they make a genre out of something that's already existed? Why don't you call it hip hop? And if it's not hip hop, don't call it rap music. You're right. Call You're it right. call it gangster. Call it gangster. Call it yes. down south. Yes. Don't put rap or hip hop involved in it because every dude that was on that stage would not every dude that was in that audience was not a b-boy. And everybody that was on that stage was not a b-boy. They didn't derive from that. They came from rap. They didn't come from hip hop. So that was my thing. And I saw everybody try to make an East Coast, West Coast thing. I'm like, nah, it's not East Coast, West Coast. That's not what it's about. It's about me being made fun of when I was younger. When I had my head back, yeah. my bandana around my head. It, it, I'm walking with the, with the corny people. I was with the ROTC guys. Mm -hmm. You know, the dudes that's in the back of the building that don't hang with the people mm -hmm. in the front. That's where hip hop was at. And if mm -hmm. we glorify what's not hip hop, we've taken it away from hip hop again. And mm -hmm. this is why hip hop is not, why we don't own it is because we let any kind of music represent it. So I'm gonna ask you, DJ Jinx, when they say hip hop is from 50 years old, 1973, because I was doing my research, when the right. industry, I put it, my definition is when the industry recognized it and it was a genre. Right. 73, I was talking with my other brother the other day. There's no, there's no um, MCing over a production, right? Be, uh, like registered. There's no graffiti. There's no like break dancing, what they called break dancing. It was called burning, right? So, I feel it was getting developed from 73 up until eight until 82 when Africa Bombada brought it to the world and he started to travel and he started to put it like, you know, basically artists started to come out, you know, and they called it a genre. Right. Right. They again, do you see where you started? Yes. They, <laughs> hey, so they took us from R&B so they wouldn't have to play R&B. Mm. So they wanted to put money into what was less than what was the most. So whenever something come in, it cut somebody out. You know what I mean? Exactly. So when you when you when you take hip hop, you can cut the culture out. 
and just get the rap part. The jigga bitch hoopa, the rap ba da ba da ba, the 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 shock value. You can pull out. I say this. Look, I say rap music <clears throat> is when you go back to Roxanne, Roxanne, right? And this is what lessons of lessons must do. You remember that part? Chit 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 chit. Because I don't even know the DJ part. Because I'm DJ. So you know that part, and they did it three times in the song. Educated rapper did it uh, in one one of his parts, and another uh, uh, Kango kid did it in his part. And this is for lessons for life to do. So the whole world of rap has got rid of the message of Roxanne, and just took that part. So in the whole spectrum of of me talking about hip hop. It just felt like they put my daughter on stage with a with a with a leotard on. I didn't agree with the leotard. What rap girl wears a leotard? I'm like, oh okay. I I had my hand raised the whole time. Like she was cute me. Who's listening? Who is saying this is not what we started? This is where y'all going with it. And cut trust and believe. When them country people heard that boy Nas, the Nas X dude, they they said that no, that's not our. Genre, our genre. And where is he at now? He's still selling, so ultimately he's in the genre. But he ain't in the country genre. He in the rap, R and B category, talking to country people. So you are. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's the they part that we need to bring back. And 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 us being underground, and the real ones know now we got the internet, and the real ones can talk. I do see the support of the B boys, and I see the greed of the people that just want to get famous off of it. So, what do you think uh, the culture needs to clarify, like a lot of this, to especially the new generation? I know uh, KRS has like he has a school right now. He, he, for a while, he's been doing it. Like, do you, what do we need? I think we need more, like a little bit more, because if there's no hip hop groups. People forgot about that. Is like you know the death of our. Well, I, I, I don't. I don't think. I don't think the history. I don't think it comes from a history class. I think it comes from a progression class that goes forward on what we do and not where we don't. It, we did that. We can show them. We read different scriptures in, in the Bible. They show what they did wrong, rather than you having to continue to do it and where it's going to take our genre. Mm. Facts. It's Facts. not about the history because some of the history is tainted. Some of that music is trash. Yeah. It's not a good. It's not a good blueprint. We don't take the blueprint of football and teach a new guy. You're right. We so teach we last year's version of it and it's perfected. <clears throat> so when you see that Kendrick Lamar and the, the the J Coles, you know them guys gonna go together forever in the history. They, you they the president. Mm. So your experience right now, how do you feel like, have you gotten your, I know you don't care because, you know, have you mm -hmm. gotten, felt, felt like like people are giving you the respect or your flowers right now with all this hip hop history talk and stuff like that? Do they know? Because I know. Nah, brother, let me tell you, I got my, I don't like that flower thing because it's like when people say I give you your flowers, mean you're not going to come to my, my funeral. So I got a lot of people that when I was in, uh, what was it? Um, I, I'm trying to remember. Um, the Fox Hill Mall back at, in, in the 90s, right? Mm -hmm. In the 90s. And, and I heard, you can't play with my yo yo. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. My job was done. Oh, I see. So I peaked then. So to care now, <clears throat> that's a long time ago. Those are old trophies. So I'm a person that gets in the game and like, put me in, coach. Uh, well, punter, what you want? Uh, you know, return, return kick, you know, where, where, where you want me? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when a person says how I feel about it, you got to look at me like a, like a LeBron. Like it's, it's more than 20 years with me. You got to go back 35. I'm the same age as hip hop. See? So for anybody to even care about my my point, you know, you you can be on on this on this live right here with with Melly Mel and and totally feel an age distance between you. 
yeah. you know, on how he speaks, his aspect. And notice, I said nothing about them. I'm only talking about how we're looking to the future. We didn't get respect for looking a certain way. We don't need no help. We need to take out rather than to add. So right. if we're going to talk about hip hop, yeah, I got something to say. I got something to say. So I don't really wonder. I'm, I'm always behind the scenes, man. I'm not, I'm that parent that take all the kids home, make sure they say, and not tell them. You know, everybody got shitty draws, but ain't talking about the shitty draws ain't gonna fix the problem. Mm. It's talking about how we gonna get more draws so we don't look stupid. <laughs> for, for the ones, for the ones who do not know, tell the the universe like who. Who, like, I'm not saying responsible for, but who, like, how did your career start, like, getting the spotlight, the the, the, the artists you were around, man, just, you know, like. Doing anything that I can do, man, I felt like I was a waiter. Like I said, at, in one of them posts, I said, I'm, I'm the union. I'm not a principal. I'm an accessory. So I've been an accessory to the music to be able to love it so much to help it rather than to become a one of it. And it, so when 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 with me doing music that's why i could go to a, a a cube situation and then right around go right to new york and do a whole coogee rap album mm -hmm. not a couple songs but a whole fucking oh. album yeah so uh, you know i'm i'm at i was adding to what i thought you know music was so I, like i said every time it starts over my it's like i'm reliving the same thing i did when i first did my first talent show in one you know, mm -hmm. I you can win only so many talent shows before you feel like a bully. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of let set back and let the dudes have time. When you have time, you can talk to me. Anybody that just do it one time is easy. I did it one time, 30 times. So talk to me after five times on how accurate you are at what you do. You can you can say you can shoot to the moon right now, but if you ain't got no gun, no nothing, you just sound like the rest of the people. Facts, so facts, facts, in this facts. game, I, I've been blessed to even be a part of it. And 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 like you guys, I'm sure you guys are a little younger than me, and a lot younger. And and but hip hop didn't age us. Yes, it's only when we talk about the implement that's making us, you know, that that's not making hip hop pure with ages us. Yes. When you start putting in fads, when you start putting in self preservation. Yes. That's when we start looking old. That's uh, when you can't go back to it. When you go when you look at and it's so funny, I was thinking about this yesterday with the like the Jamaican people. And yes. I say when they do a festival, they don't have to go back to the kettle drum and yeah. try to talk about that. I said, they got different, they got dance hall, they got this, they got blah, they got this, they got, I said, all them people don't be in the same place, bro. Yeah. Don't go there, think, okay, you finna hear some Bob Marley yeah. when yeah. you over here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> True, you finna hear some Islander music, nah, bro. And that's how I felt about the hip hop. We are not Islander. We are not this. We are one kind of it. One but kind. at that point, you should celebrate the people that do that one kind. Mm -hmm. They're letting any kind represent. And the patois, they're letting everything in. Mm -hmm. You're like, no, that's not what we do. Yes, it is. Yes, yes it is. You be like, no, nah, that's not hip hop. Y'all yes. ruining it. I'm out. And then I'll be like, I can't be out because I'm just turning the back on myself. I got to correct them rather than me. I don't think this thing is going down. Rather yeah, than sure. me uh, me coming in and trying to do a concert series or try to, I, I'm not like that. I'm a union worker. I can only complain to the people that they put in charge. So they didn't yeah. put me in charge. I've been here for years. So who, who else is in charge? So if, if there's a problem with the union and everybody on they, on they what you call it, and I just said one thing, obviously they ain't keeping air conditioning on at night. You know what I'm saying? It's something wrong. And I, yeah. I ain't even complaining. I ain't even one of the ones that niggas should like. Yeah, I'm facts, talking, facts. talking about hip hop. I'm not talking about me. Yes. I'm talking about hip hop. Yes. And, and they are racing what hip hop is. They saying hip hop is, is gumbo. Mm -hmm. And it's like, nah. Nah, and then they say, you know, the Latin part and the, 
the Caribbean part, I believe everybody got a little hip hop in them. Yeah. That's what hip hop is about. It's how you express yourself as yourself. Yeah. You feel me? Exactly. So this is what makes everybody comfortable. Just because a person says he's black Asian, that doesn't mean there's a genre. I mean, there's a, a, a you know, a, a type of people. He just yeah. says he's urban. So the urban part of the word black to me is when people relate to what we do and they're the urban part of their nationality or, wh or whatever. So anybody can say that we were doing that at a certain time, talking that talk, but nobody can take the history from Oakland. So before Oakland, you can't tell me people were talking like that. So all yes. that, yeah, blah, yes. what's on the hand side, all that shit that started in Detroit, then Chicago, they'll tell you that that's where that kind of street shit came from. The fedora, the, the cholo shit, the Zusu, mm -hmm. all that shit came from California. So now when you say the Harlem niggas, who are they dressing mm -hmm. like? Who are the mm -hmm. Harlem them niggas and nobody don't talk about the Harlem niggas because they turn your lights off. But they were dressing like somebody of authority. Where did they get the fedora and the custom made suits from? That was some pimp shit, mm -hmm. and they couldn't have pimp shit in the snow in Chicago. So at some point, yeah, it had to start in in Oakland. Mm -hmm. So then you derive from Oakland with the bebop, and you derive from um, New Orleans with the with the with the Dixie. And then you start seeing these people doing business with each other, they start liking the same music. So then you take New York, you 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 can't say, you can say, I give New York the situation with the basketball courts and the kids with the the buckets. Yes. It wasn't no music. Yeah. So that's before the hurt the cool hurt moment. This is like brother was saying when I got on. I seen other documentaries about other shit when it was implemented. So yeah. if it was all implemented like that, it would be in them documentaries like that. Facts. I watched Facts. a documentary on heroin taking over uh, 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 over the Bronx. And what do I see? A, 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 a subway go by with, with, group, with graffiti mm -hmm. on it. I do graffiti in my Wow. Oh shit, they doing it too. Yeah. You know, and he's like, oh, they a lot better than us. But it wasn't like us writing on walls. We got it from New York mm -hmm. or, or the pieces or whatever. So now you see the dude, hey, the, the, the newscaster come up to the dude, hey man, what you going on? Oh man, we sitting here rapping. Mm -hmm. Man, check him out. In the blood and the thud. And it, but it was no beatboxing, it was none of that shit. Thanks. So then later it started being that with bah, 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 when they start Larry and it's the guy I don't think with, with Run DMC and all them, it changed. They brought disco to hip hop. And this is when the break beats came. Mm. You feel me? So it was yeah. going on in other places, but they didn't call it what a person claimed to call it. Usually when somebody calls something, it usually was there already. Yes, you're right. <laughs> You just gave the people some some, some food for thought, DJ Jinx. I'm, I'm saying all they have to do is go back to the early '70s, like people say, and say what well, what they what they were doing. When I go back to them things, and trust me, I PBC, a uh, UHF, whatever. I was up all types of the night, loving watching New York stuff, the the street, the the the, the Puerto Ricans. And then you say if the Puerto Ricans was always there. They were always in front of the camera. But mm -hmm. when you go to a situation of a warrior situation, who's on the shore? They're not going to talk to the people that's that's in the house. They're going to talk to the shore people. So in any situation, a hip hop or Puerto Rican person will probably be easier to talk to when it came to a camera. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't like black people was easy to talk to back then. So this is how you have to even the playing ground on us accepting Puerto Ricans doing our kind of music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then from what I understand that when when Cool Herc and that little boy that got killed, remember mm -hmm. the little boy that got killed that brought yeah. everybody together. Yeah, that made that one party that started the hip hop movement because the, the, the Caribbean people, they know how to do festivals. So the niggas don't know how to do that. We was mm -hmm. up in the building. Yes. You gotta remember how the people were partying back then. Niggas wasn't down in the street. You couldn't be in the Bronx on the street, bro. 
Yeah. <laughs> you could not be throwing your hands in the air yeah. unless the police was there. You feel yeah. me? You was up in a building in somebody's apartment until that kid got killed. And that kid, that kid got killed. Once they brought the niggas together, Cool Hurt had to play a little bit for the niggas. Mm. So that little bit for the niggas made it sweet. Mm. Cause now everybody happy. Mm. That's hip hop. I like it. We gotta end it like this, my brother. We gotta connect again, man. You feel we gotta me? connect again for sure. So it was that kind of the unity that came together. So it had to be an engine to start a car. A car yeah. could be an engine without a car. You know what I'm saying? A car is just a a a, 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 a bunch of uh, whatever. But an engine can go anywhere. So hip hop can go anywhere. That, that little right. heartbeat, like I said with Roxanne Shante, that little heartbeat is now running down south. Yeah. Now it's running Memphis. But yeah. it's still the era the origin of hip hop and where it's taking it and it need rules mm -hmm. it just need rules everybody can't do it the country people don't let you do it yes you're right you're right so all this right. money should definitely come into a lid a lid of respect and understanding that there's adult contemporary hip hop that is going to come in the future because it has to segregate the mute the people that don't care about themselves the, you're right the People that were making the Marvin Gaye music, they not only didn't like, they, they, they not only loved themselves, but they loved everybody. That was the thing. So mm -hmm. if people continue to put out hate music because their life is in, in, in sorrow, then then that that should be a category. You're right. You know, Razor Blade and and, and 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 Benadryl. You know, I don't know how you kill yourself, but that should be a category. Don't call it hip hop. Cause hip hop is to inspire. I say rap music has killed a gang of motherfuckers, mm -hmm. but hip hop ain't killed nobody. Ain't nobody got killed with a hip hop song in the background. Yeah, swear to God, Fact. if anybody can tell me that a fight broke out at a hip hop convention, right? Never happened. So that be the, the ingredient that they add for when they say we can do hip hop too, and they say okay, you can bring hip hop, but don't bring that part with you. Mm. Only subtract that part and add a jersey, add an emblem, add something of fashion, yes. add something of this. When you do country music, you gotta wear a goddamn hat. You gotta have a tin yeah. gown, yeah. whatever. Yeah. You gotta have that shit on. You can't come with no goddamn uh, 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 Raider jacket talking about some down in the hometown. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> they ain't having it. <laughs> they you're not happening. You can do it, but you're not performing in front of Taylor Swift fans. I swear to God. It's fact. Hey, you better be down on them boots. Better be big, too. Two sizes bigger. <laughs> you better see them boots from the third seat, nigga. If you doing that, well, the same thing with rap. When can we say that's too much or not enough or overboard before you move into our category uh, to X category? Yes. You, you moved up, and if you're in the X category, that should not hurt the R-rated people performing. Because some R-rated rappers don't bring violence. They yeah. just talk serious. But then the X rappers are blending with the R rappers and they're bringing the funk yeah. to, to a, a serious club. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You can play some Future. You can play some blah, blah, blah. I ain't gonna really point anybody out, mm -hmm. but I see that he's like the biggest one of yeah, of, of that world and not bring no funk. True, right. You know what I'm saying? It's the dudes that do the music like Future and killing niggas in the song. I don't know what Future doing the song, but you get what yeah. I'm saying. I, I can say any of the rappers, a Weekend, you know, anybody. <clears throat> you, you you love that seriousness of him, but then it's the literature that goes over it that we have to segregate. You're right. You're and right. that's not hip-hop. That, that's yes. not hip-hop. <laughs> Yo, yeah. I like, I like, I like, I like the combo, my brother. Yeah. Thanks for tapping through. You know, I, thanks I for just tapping through. I just want to tell you all. I usually man. don't get on. I don't care if you got. Uh, we've been talking to five people. It's probably my cousin, your sister. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But the, when you keep it and give it back to the people, that's how we give it. We plant seeds and let it grow. We don't have instant spontaneous. My shit is not instant spontaneous. I don't get an instant result on anything. Mm -hmm. So when we do these, I see a six up there, but watch at the end you loop that bitch again, chop it up, put it up there right. That You're motherfucker gonna right. have three million. You know, you that's know. when I'm telling the truth about the future on what we need to talk about is not what we did in the past, 
is more or less how can we make ourselves a better representation of a genre mm -hmm. because we're not all, exactly. all over the place you know what i'm saying it was a cold thing to see ll cool j be one of my number one uh, um, applicants to the adult contemporary hip-hop category but when i saw his behavior i'm like he ain't went nowhere <laughs> he met at people i'm like ll how you went to tv nigga how could you be mad at any fucking body <laughs> you didn't stay in the trenches and work out them syllables nigga you work and went to a uh, check so <laughs> it, it's just like ain't nothing wrong with ll i love ll mm. but you get what i'm saying it's like yeah. his attitude wasn't hip-hop his yeah. attitude was him rekindling the the issues he had with people and 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 stuff like that which is cool because i i don't know if i would have done it the same way it would have been way more culture it would have been way more um, um teaching the kids of what it was made out of rather than showing them what they can do with it and 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 uh, hip-hop is not a job it's a way of life rap is exactly. a job you know like i put it that way you you people. live through hip hop. Your TV, your, you you buy the wooden version. You know you you do shit. You know you got an African medallion in your car, or, or incense thing. You know it, it, it's more than just rap. I don't fuck with rappers. Mm. They can't tell me nothing. Yes. But when a brother take off all his armor and take off his mask and his makeup, he mm. might can say some of my life. Yeah. But you can't convince me that you tough because I'm not a bitch. And bitches like when you talk tough, you know? It's true. I like how you say it. It's facts. Yeah. So, so, I only like when you tell me something I need, and I'm all here. You know, you look at uh, 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 Earth, Wind, and Fire, you're a shining star, no matter who you are. As far as fire, mm -hmm. is, no matter who you be, no matter, yeah, I'm all ears, but yeah, you a motherfucking punk, no matter who you are. I'm, oh, man. Well, I, I ain't fucking with you. I, I, now, who you, who's your big homie? Because they've been treating you fucked up for you to always say everybody against you when it comes to being a lyricist. You yeah. feel me? So yeah. some of the guys got to keep that under tack. You know, we want to say to every girl, hey, I want some pussy right now. But it actually sounds better when you say it with a finesse. And the less you say, the more you get. So Thanks. in rap music, we should put that as a rule. The less is better. And shock value don't make you greater. Yes. It just makes make you reaching. You reaching for aspect of thought. Your thought should be driven enough without you saying cataclysmic or, or, you feel me? Yeah. Like you don't have to do a metaphor and a good fucking topic. The topic is a good fucking topic. Yeah. You know what I mean? Exactly. The reference a speeding car with a diving bar when it when I'm talking about I love my mom, you know, yeah. the less is better. Mm -hmm. If you can say love in ten words, you the bomb, nigga. You can say it a thousand ways, but just say it three ways and I get it. And the shortest way is the way I fuck with when it comes to rapping. Get to the fucking point. Metaphors don't make you a good rapper. So that's what a lot of these guys are starting to be I. I call them I rappers. Because it's only I in the front of those metaphors. Mm. So now they're trying to change it to like like what's his name? Um 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 Big Sean is the best at it. Um um he's like, I'm a star, sheriff badge. You know, they, they still doing the, the metaphor game, but they're taking the I out. I see what I mean. <laughs> only people like you could understand yeah. that and study that and dissect that, like that's that's good coming from and a, a fabulous uh drake mm. big sean lil wayne what's her name uh, uh um, Nicki minaj i bet you they can count how many times they say i it's true it's yeah. true and it's that's true. only because they're not they're taking it out mm. you feel me it's not they count it to to be enjoyed they hate saying i i know I know, I know what you mean, being an MC. Right. But I gotta thank so that's you for the because I could tell that um the time right. is going. Right. right. But thanks, DJ Jinx. Yeah. You gotta link up yeah. on the YouTube, man. You gotta link up on the, on the YouTube, YouTube channel, bro. You know? 
gotta continue. Man, hit me up anytime, bro. I'll come back and fuck with you with chop it up like you know how I go, like cutting 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 some music. Respect for sure. We're gonna do that, man. Because I just came out. I haven't been on the I, we haven't been on this IG for a long time. Usually it's YouTube. Yeah, man. We just so, been uh, what it just be mostly on the live um YouTube. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I, I don't get on here either, but like I said, I, I was answering a lot of those comments and, and a lot of my guys, like, don't dive in the comments, but diving in the comments doesn't always mean I have to be right, mm -hmm. you know? So, so I, I just go in there and just joke, joke with the people that are very a angry. <laughs> and if you go in there, go in the comments, and, and if I do, if I go wrong, I go hard, come come slap me on the back and uh, under my hand and say, Jinx, I was wrong. But until then, it's all gloves off in the motherfucking uh, comments. Right, man. <laughs> I, it's, it's, it's an honor chopping it up with a legend, man. So we yeah. must link, the, link up again. Yeah, I'm just time for the work. Yeah, sure. Yeah. 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 Yeah.